Our room security produced the most protected armored civilian vehicles in the world. How can we claim this? Our civilian vehicles provide a protection level which was previously only available in military vehicles. Now there is no need to choose between security on the one hand and an inconspicuous look and comfort on the other. All civilian armored vehicles look more or less the same. So why do prices for armoring range from $20,000 to $200,000? The devil is in the detail. All armored vehicles can be divided into two categories, non-certified and certified. There is nothing positive to say about the first category, non-certified vehicles. They have not been tested, which means that they have never been fired at or exploded. The manufacturers of such vehicles will tell you that their vehicles will give you reliable protection, but actually nobody knows whether this is true. In the last few years, most attacks on vehicles started with a blast. Predicting the consequences of a blast is impossible. This can only be done after a real attack or from tests conducted during the certification process of a complete vehicle. An example of what can happen to a non-certified vehicle in an attack was the assassination of the Pakistani security chief in 2013. In this example, sadly, all the passengers died. The reality is that this non-certified vehicle had no chance of withstanding the attack. The window glasses were blown off, which means that they were not fixed properly, and the door frames were not reinforced. One door was torn away completely. The standard hinges had not been replaced. The armor plates were poorly fixed and just fell out of the doors. The safety of the passengers during a blast can only be guaranteed when the protected cabin has fully withstood the impact of the blast and has not been destroyed. The second category is certified vehicles, are those which have passed the tests required to meet the VPAM VR standard. During the certification process, the whole vehicle is subjected to gunfire and explosions and the results are meticulously recorded. Thus, both the component materials are tested and the whole armoring design is thoroughly checked, which is essential when considering the ability of the vehicle to protect its occupants. There are only about 10 companies in the world who produce such vehicles. The difference in the vehicles lies in their level of protection and weight. Our Room Security is the only company in the world to have certified a vehicle according to the protection class VPAM VR10. This is the highest protection level available for civilian vehicles. The most popular protection levels are B6 and B7. What is the difference and why is VR10 better? A vehicle of the protection level VR10 has two main advantages over B6 and B7 rated vehicles. The sections of glass and armor in a B6 vehicle can resist only three shots from a Kalashnikov machine gun. However, in a VPAM-10 rated vehicle, they can withstand up to 30 shots, which is the whole magazine. In the real life, an attack rarely ends with three shots. While B6 vehicles cannot withstand any armor-piercing bullets, our VR-10 vehicles can withstand most of them including armor-piercing incendiary bullet B-32 from the Dragunov sniper rifle, which is often used for targeted assassination attempts. This bullet will penetrate B-6 and B-7 weighted vehicles easily, which is no surprise given that in order to stop it, the armor must be three times thicker than for the level B-6 and a third thicker than for the level B-7. Our vehicles have a guaranteed high level of anti-blast protection, they have been certified according to the highest levels within the standard, which can be compared with the protection level of military vehicles. Three hand grenades under the floor, not two as required by the standard. An improvised explosive device on the roadside 15 kilograms of TNT. The test was conducted from a distance of 2 meters with a directional blast and not from 4 meters with a non-directional blast as was required by the old standard. It is worth noting that the blast wave of 15 kilograms of TNT from 2 meters is the same as one of 120 kilograms from 4 meters.
A run over an anti-tank mine. This is 6 kilograms of TNT. There are only three companies in the world that can produce civilian vehicles capable of withstanding such a blast. All these tests were conducted at the German military testing facility IABG. What distinguishes IABG from other certifying centers is that all the tests are conducted in conditions that are as close to reality as possible. IABG is one of very few centers that perform all blast tests with a Hybrid 3 dummy placed inside the vehicle. This is the only way to judge what would happen to the occupants of the vehicle. In addition to this, high-speed cameras are placed inside the vehicle, allowing detailed analysis of the performance of the protected cabin under the blast stress. Despite high levels of protection, our vehicles remain mobile. An example of what we can achieve is our certified Toyota Land Cruiser 200 VPAM VR10 vehicle with a 1000 kg payload. It has more payload than most of the vehicles on the market while providing a much higher level of protection. Last but not least, our vehicles still retain their standard appearance both inside and out. The most important difference between our armored vehicles and the vast majority of those on the market is that our vehicles will give you a real chance of survival if the worst comes to the worst. Sitting in an armored vehicle produced by RM Security, you will have peace of mind knowing that everything possible has been done to guarantee your safety.